Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. Hello from the chateau everyone. I hope that you all had a happy and a healthy Easter wherever you are in the world. Those of you who saw our Easter Sunday vlog will know that we had a really beautiful weekend. But what you won't have seen in that vlog is the sheer madness of the days leading up to it. Because we had so many things to get ready in the house, not only for Easter, because on Good Friday I filmed a tour of the chateau. And for any of you who haven't seen it, I'll put a link to it here. And it was of the private apartments and a lot of the unseen areas in the chateau. But there were so many finishing touches that I had to get ready for that video. And everyone in the house was helping me. For example, in Michael Potts's apartment, there was neither a mattress nor a bed base, just a gaping hole in the bed. So we were trying to get the mattress up the stairs and there were all sorts of things like that happening all week. And I'll show you all of that footage. But first, I would like to take you back in time to the morning of Good Friday when I woke up to discover the most exciting news and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's go back to that moment now. I have just woken up to discover that today is the most beautiful day and not just because of this weather. We have hit the first target on my Patreon account, which was two and a half thousand euros. And I said that when we would hit that target, we would be able to restore the last window that's missing from the chapel at La Lande. And I cannot believe it. To me, it seemed like such a high target that it was years away and I only opened my Patreon account about two months ago and I cannot believe it and I can't thank you enough because this is absolutely huge. There's a gap in the stained glass windows where one is missing. It's in storage with the restorer and has been for over six years because we managed to do each of the other windows a little bit at a time and then we ran out of funds and she's been holding that last window for us all this time and I can't I can't believe it's happened and we're going to be able to complete the windows of the chapel and not only that because as many of you already know I've been putting aside the money from the advertising revenue on these vlogs to be able to restore the interior of the chapel and the chapel restorer has been booked and he will be here when lockdown is over. He is going to restore all of the interior plaster work and the exquisite painting that is on the walls of our chapel. It's very beautiful. Every inch of it is covered in paintings. We started restoring the chapel as soon as we arrived at the chateau. It's the first thing we spent money on and we managed to entirely re-roof it because that's where all the damage has come from. For decades the water had been coming through the roof, an entire plaster vault had collapsed inside, we have a huge hole in the ceiling. It had damaged the walls, it had damaged a lot of the painted decoration. So before we even touched anything inside the chateau we re-roofed the chapel. And we then managed to restore some of the windows, as I said, bit by bit, and finally ran out of funds for that as we got to the last window. That one was more complicated because there was a huge piece missing. In fact, the entire saint's face is missing on that window. There was just a hole, the glass had gone. So it's a much bigger job for the restorer, which is why it was left till last, because she has to replace the face of, I think, Saint Cecilia, but I could be wrong, but it's a female saint. So finally, not only the paintings and the plaster work, but the windows are going to be completed in the chapel and all because of you, all because of those of you who watch the adverts on my vlogs and those of you who have incredibly kindly decided to become patrons. I want you to know what a huge difference it's making. I can't wait to go downstairs and tell my mother. In fact, before I do anything else today, I'm going to run downstairs and phone the stained glass window restorer and ask her if she can start on it. I'm too excited, I can't do anything else. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? 
Très bien, merci. Oui, j'espère que vous allez bien pendant ce moment. Je vous appelais pour euh, euh, le vitrail, vitrail de la chapelle. Euh, le plus vite, ce serait bien pour nous parce que finalement, je, je, je peux finir la chapelle, ce qui est incroyable. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir alors. I have huge news. I have news. We hit the first patron target, which means that I can get the chapel window restored. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> the chapel window. Yes. Wonderful. It's been gone for so long. I can't believe it. I can't believe I it. I can't remember which scent it was. Well, I think it was Cecilia, but I'm not Cecilia. sure. Cecilia. Oh, yes, it could well be. Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the enablers. <laughs> thank you, enablers. <laughs> I, that's wonderful. I'm delighted. Isn't it a beautiful day today? We're so, so lucky with the weather this month. But I can't just lie around in the sun today. I have got so much to do to get this house ready to film my tour of the private apartments here. And look at Thor just majestically walking in the entrance. Okay, Nick. Right, we should look for Selma, you know. Okay, do you want to run and see if you can see him? Yes. Thanks, Mummy. <laughs> Reinforcements! <laughs> Diesel's going to do most of the heavy lifting. Okay. <laughs> you, see, you must look for the dog if you want Salma. Ah, uh, yes. We we'll always tell you where Salma is. <laughs> so? We need to get so, this up the spiral staircase. The, ah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I've only got one worry, which is that there's just two little things on the side of the bed to support the base. Yes. And this is a little bit narrower than the bed. So I don't know if it's going to... It's a length that doesn't fit, you see. The length will fit. Okay, that's it's a main a width thing. It's a that won't, I think. I think I'm going to go up the other stairs. Oh dear. Not as it's easy as one thinks. I'm finding it much easier now. It's got a lot lighter. Good, it just clears, doesn't it? It just clears. This is looking really good. Now we sit down. This is looking great, Mummy. Okay. <laughs> Straight through here. This is a no, this is actually uh... pretty easy from now on. It's a nice room, eh? You have a nice room, eh? Haven't I? Oh. Okay. Well. Someone, you're not messing around with this, are you? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Jump on the bed. Oh my goodness, it was a <laughs> Well done! Well, there is one to take down though. Yeah, look, this is much lighter, so this is uh, much easier. We'll be filming this room this afternoon. Okay. But we could, we could now, whilst Nick is here, maybe Nick and I will be able to do this alone, I don't know. We can try just taking this down. Oh, I wonder what's happening in the maintenance room. What are you working on? As for the pergola. Oh, nice! So we get now one. Yes. And, uh, for the Easter party. Oh, it's going to be painted in time for the Easter party. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. This is great, Selma. Almost done. And what a beautiful day for it. Yeah, that's why. Right. Yeah. That's right. It looks gorgeous. So, so much better. All painted the same yeah, colour. Yeah. The whole chateau is a hive of activity today. Even the elusive Nick is cleaning the fountain. Mummy, as we are about to film your apartment for the tour, yes. I think it's time to put these up. <laughs> as you've just moved in. Yes, it's well, spring. Then... Let's put them out. Okay. Right, I've put one hook up. Yes. Let me know what you think about the height. Okay. Yes. You like that? Yes, I do. So then for the ones on either side, you sure the height's okay? The height is absolutely fine. I don't want it too low. Then... I thought I was torn between going halfway between the wall and the painting. Yes. But I think it might be better to have them closer and have yes. them directly underneath. Sure. So what do you prefer, this? I think that makes sense. Or that? Uh, no, under the... Under? Yes. Under the light? Yes. Okay. Right, I'll get on with this. I have my trusty toolbox. Yes. One of the things I most use in this house. Yes, you've used that one a lot, haven't you? Picture books. <laughs> Picture hooks everywhere. 
What do you think of the first three? I oh. think they're delightful, yes. Lovely, thank you. I've made my little mark here. Let's get this one out. Lovely. And that I thought would be this one. Okay, he's a very jolly looking sheep. All the little sheep are up and I've arranged them so that they're looking in at each other. So on this wall, on the outside, they're looking into the little group on the middle. And here they're looking into the room. And the same on the other side. And then we have a little bit of a nursery over here. Lots of baby sheep. What do you think? I think it's wonderful. Oh yes, so sweet. Lovely. I like this one. Staring at you. Yes. It reminds you of Aloysius. Yes, they've got character. Yes. Wonderful. You look very pretty in your kitchen, Mummy. You, show me. you look just darling. Okay. Now here is a man who's been very excited about the opening of the parcels. Oh, wow. With a seal. Oh my goodness. Oh. The father of English potters, Josiah Wedgwood. Wow. Oh, this is incredible because I've been wanting to make a vlog about Wedgwood. Oh, this is amazing. Oh. What could it be? Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Can you bring it to the camera? It it's is so beautiful. Can you see it, Mum? Yes, beautiful. I'm going to put that on. Oh my goodness, that's very special. In fact, I'll take this off in case it it clashes. It. Oh, sweetheart, that's lovely. Uh, mm. Really nice. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's from Sven. I don't even need to look at the letter. I know that it's from Sven. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I love it. Ah. Oh, how are we going to open this on time? How yes. are we going to get the, this? This has been well wrapped. This is a project. Uh, prends les ciseaux dans la cuisine, chérie. Nice. Merci. Hmm, tricky, very tricky. Ah. ah. We found a way in. I think we're in. Wow. That's awesome. Superb. Perfect. Love, how gorgeous. Oh, we must keep the boxes. Chateau de la Lande, look how beautiful. Homemade infinity scarf for cold days at Chateau de la Lande for Stephanie. Oh. oh, Maria, you know how cold it gets here. It's your colour. It's so soft. It's so soft. It's not at all cold today, but I want to wear it anyway. Just because it's so soft. Oh. But I don't want it to hide my beautiful brooch, so I have to put that to the side <laughs> homemade infinity scarf for cold days at chateau lalande mummy oh i could have done with that two days ago wow and i think that next week it's going to get colder that's excellent thank you so much i have been so cold that's wonderful that is beautiful on you mummy i love it but now put the bunny ears on immediately it's easter there are strict rules in this house about bunny ears at Easter. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Mm, it is lovely. And there's one last box. And another one. This one, Antoine. Oh, dishcloths. Oh. Chateau Lalande homemade dishcloths. That's wonderful. Maria, you are an amazing knitter. It's crochet, is it? Crochet. Is it crochet? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Oh, but look how even it is and how yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really nice. That's beautiful. How oh, nice. It makes me almost, almost want to do the washing up after today's lunch. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, Antoine, you'll enjoy that very much, won't you? With the new dishcloth. Mm, no worries. <laughs> and do you know this is my first ever piece of Wedgwood jewellery? Yes, uh, that's right. And I've always wanted some. How oh, lovely. What an Easter! What a bumper Easter! <laughs> Thank you very, very much for the present. I hope you have a wonderful Easter and that you will have a wonderful year. 
Happy Easter, everyone from La Land. Happy Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Something very exciting happened today. The gilding liquid that Michael Petherick suggested I should use for these doors so that they have a little bit more bling has arrived. It's by Le Franc et Bourgeois and it's called gilding liquid and this is the rich gold colour. I had painted these gold in the past several years ago but it was a kind of a wax. It's a bit too much of a greeny gold and it hasn't got a good coverage or a good shine. So perfect for other projects but I think it's wrong for this. So I've decided to do one side of the door first and we can see if it's actually worth the difference. And I have exactly one and a quarter hours until we're meeting because Marie is going to make churros this afternoon. So we're going downstairs and getting the deep fat fryer out. And that gives me something to look forward to at the end of my spate of DIY today. Also, I'm super, super, super excited to see what the gold looks like. I'm really happy this arrived during lockdown. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Well, I think it's fair to say that I have not got very far in an hour and a quarter. I've done these lines there. That's it. Oh, it's a drip. But I guess that's not surprising with a brush this size. And it's going to need a lot of coats, but I don't know if you can see it. The difference is already huge between the two sides. I'm loving this colour, but it's going to be a lot of work. Every day I'm going to be in here obsessively adding little bits more gold. Oh dear, I can see this is going to become an obsession. I do not know how Michael had the patience to do the entire ballroom at Bamenier. Still, it's time for churros now. To very good news. So what have you made? What is this? It's a, it's a shoe pastry, basically. Okay. It's super easy. Shoe pastry. Have you made this before? Uh, churros, no, but shoe, yes. Mm -hmm. Shoe, that would be a good thing to do for parties, I was thinking. Do you because, usually add egg to shoe? Yeah. Um, because that's quite fun to do. And mm. uh, you, you can make plenty yeah, of them. Super bon. Déjà, oui. Antoine's saying it already looks delicious. Uh, and so you smell the uh, orange blossom. Mm. Oh, you've got orange blossom in yeah. Do we need sugar to put them in? We need them sugar um, and cinnamon. Sugar Mix. and cinnamon coming up. We have the cinnamon, mm. huh, Steph? Oh, you have some? I've got some here. took some first, don't force it too hard because I'm worried that that white bit's just going to yeah, pop that's straight out I'm, uh, and be deep fried. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, this is Alors, actually it's holding. It's looking good. Vas-y. This is very much it's a three-person nice, yeah. task. Mm, they look good. Ouais, vas-y. Go. This is what lockdown is for. We are <laughs> culinary experiments in the kitchen. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, the plastic nozzle was deep fat fried and is absolutely fine. What is this made of? How did this not melt? I mean, it's completely solid still. That's insane. Well, we knew it was going to happen and it happened and it's fine. It's all well, it's still alive. Okay. It didn't melt. It just will not have the look. It will just look like a warm, but it's okay. A warm. <laughs> Warm, no? It will be a warm worm. A war worm. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> it looks less, less elegant uh, without the. It's not about the looks of this thing. <laughs> Once we've covered it with sugar and cinnamon, yeah, it's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, it's what's on the inside that counts. It's its heart and soul that matters. Bear in mind, no one in this house knows mm -hmm. what they're doing at the moment. <laughs> But at least we're having fun. This is working. Very nice bit of videography now. Good. I'm not sure we should have done this a day after Easter. The amount of chocolate we ate yesterday and lemon meringue pie. And straight in with the churros and gin and tonics today. Go for it, mummy. Try one. I'll have a tiny one, shall I? You can have whichever one you like. Mm -hmm. Very nice. <laughs> 
And also, churros, I think you, you know, they have to be eaten with a gin and tonic. You're doing it the wrong way, Mummy. Delicious. Mmm. Very nice, Mummy. Can we have Thank donuts you. every day? Oh, it's now. the first, huh? so. It's a good surprise. This is the life. These are all the churros that are left because we've been eating them faster than we can create them. They are very, very popular. A huge thank you to all of our patrons at Lalan who are making this vlog possible, especially our Marquis and Marquis of Lalan. Daniela, Laura de Mare, Caroline Furster, Brenda Gibbons, Laura Kutikova, Maureen Palmer, Brian Woodward, and David Young. And thank you to all of you.